Hello, Ben here at Martech. Um, just a quick video today, really just to show you a little bit more about our Legionella Max. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen that we already have a Legionella test. Now, it's a fantastic test already, where you can get accurate results in just 25 minutes on board. Now, at Martech though, one of the big things for us is innovation. So although we already had the best kit on the market, we thought we could definitely make it better. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna to run through our Legionella Max test, how you can still get onboard results in about 25 minutes time, uh, but this time with 100 times more accuracy. Now, what you're most used to seeing is gonna be one of these. Now, it uses exactly the same principle, we just put it through a filter. Now that's to make sure that we can really concentrate what it is we're sampling and get you that, that fantastic result. Uh, now for this one, we've got two different tests. So the first is gonna be what we called a field test. Now this is gonna give you accuracy of 100 CFU per litre. So it's a great way of showing, look, we've got Legionella, we can now start to act immediately. The other test that we're going to be looking at is our swab sample. Now this is for biofilm. So a lot of the time we're just checking the water, but we don't seem to think, what if it's something in the pipes that's got Legionella? So this is a great way of, so should you get a positive result, um, you can then sample the inside of the pipe as well to see where it's growing. Is it in the water, is it in your tanks, or is it located just to one point? So it's a great way of almost helping to detect exactly where it's come from as well. And that's what we're going with. Now, a bit about the Legionella Max. Normally we would do these just as a single test. This time we're gonna bundle it all together for you. So you're actually gonna get two of the high accuracy and two of the high accuracy biofilm tests all in one box that you can keep on board. So with that, I reckon it's probably time just to show you how it works. So what we're actually gonna start with is the field test and the syringe test. Right, so this is us doing the field test. Now you'll see that there's four parts to this. There's a strip that you're used to and that you've used many, many times before. We've got the syringe, we've got the filter, and then we've got another syringe here. So how it works, 250 ml of sample water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through into the filter. So as you can see, on the filter itself, we've got two ends, one with a white cap, one empty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our sample of water from here. We're gonna to attach to the filter on the open end. You'll see it will just screw on. Then we're gonna slowly push it through. We're gonna keep on doing this until the entire 250 mil sample has been done. So what we're now gonna do, now that that filter is completely coated in the sample water, we're gonna take the white cap from one end I'm gonna switch it round, I'm gonna put it on the other end. Now we're gonna take this syringe here. I'm gonna remove the red cap and attach it to the open end like so. What we're then going to do is we're gonna draw it back to the 0.5 mil point then just going to put through back into the filter. I'm gonna repeat that process another three times. So now it's time to actually take the sample. So we're gonna pull it back to the 0.1 mil part of the syringe. And remove. We're then gonna take the test strip. Now like I say, a lot of you who've already used our Legionella kit will be very familiar with this. What we're going to do is we're going to take our 0.1 milliliter sample, place it here. And that's it. We're going to leave that for the next 25 minutes and that's going to give us our result of a positive or negative result for Legionella. So you'll already see just by starting that that's starting to change color already. What you'll get is it'll be a bit like a pregnancy test. One line for negative presence, two lines, and you've got positive presence of Legionella. So we'll leave that for 25 minutes, and in the meantime, I think it's time to go and do the biofilm test. Right, so as said, we're now gonna be doing the biofilm test. Now, this uses a small swab. Which we will see here. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that swab where it is we want to test. Now ideally you want to be looking somewhere with 10 centimeters squared. Right now we're going to be using the taps. Um, where you most likely find it is maybe inside a shower head or inside the piping of a shower. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to start taking our swab from here. Make sure it's coated. Now, if you're swabbing a dry area, you can always moisten up the, uh, the swab with the solution provided in the test tube. Now, we're now going to put this in the test tube, like so. So just remove the lid. You'll see that there is a red point on the actual swab. Snap it off. I'm going to really make sure that is coated in the solution. Now, the minimum you want to be doing this for is 20 seconds, just to make sure the solution is really working with the sample we've just taken. Right, so now that we've left that for 20 seconds or so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our normal pipette, as we would with a normal test, do our sample Legionella. Great, so we've had our swab in here uh, for 20 seconds. I will say now, if you're gonna take a sample, do make sure that you use that sample within 10 minutes of first putting it in. It is really important. Uh, but what we're then gonna do, exactly as the other, we're gonna take out the test strip. We're also then gonna use the pipette to take a sample. I'm gonna put it on exactly the same point. And again, I'll leave that for just 25 minutes. And that's it. So we'll be back in 25 minutes time when we've got the results of both of those samples and we'll tell you a little bit more about Legionella and what to do. Great, so it's been 25 minutes now. So now we're gonna have a look at the results of our tests. So this one here was the biofilm. This one here was the syringe test. Now, as you can see, we've just got a very clear single line, which is great news for us. Uh, it means that there is negative, there is not a presence of Legionella, which, as I say, is very good news. I make my coffee with this pretty much every single day. Uh, obviously wash my hands with this, so it, it, it's very good. Um, now, obviously Legionella, we hear about it a lot in the news quite a bit, uh, and it actually is an incredibly serious disease. Uh, in fact, many people have died from it. You may have seen recently this year, uh, there, was a, there was a case in the United States uh, where a number of people walked past somewhere where Legionella was present. Uh, more than 100 people were affected. And unfortunately, some of those people did die as well. So it's a really serious, serious infection uh, that can affect anybody. Now, being on a vessel, obviously there's a much higher chance of there being somewhere with stagnant water, which is where this tends to arrive. So what it is you really need to be looking for, or where you need to be looking for, is places that aren't often used. So a lot of the time we would say to recommend testing, say, the shower in the medical room. You know, it's not going to be used as often. Uh, it's where water can get stuck in the pipes. That's where it can start to grow and develop. So as soon as you start using the high temperatures, it starts getting into the atmosphere and you start breathing it in, then you're at a really high risk of contracting something like this. Same thing goes for cabins that aren't often used or are only used for visitors. They're not going to be flushed once a week. Uh, some may be, which is great, and that's really going to reduce your likelihood of getting Legionella. But these places, they do need to be tested or else you're again at a serious risk of developing something like this. When we say, you know, it's a, an infection and people have died, you are going to be looking at a hospital visit. There's now been some studies recently that have actually been showing that the effects of it, even after it's out of the system, can affect you for a lot longer, with some people being unable to go back to work, unable to provide for their families uh, for up to nine months afterwards. So it's a significant period of time um, where, where somebody is going to actually be, be very, very ill and, and unable to, to work and unable to provide. So it's vital that we're testing for this on a regular basis to make sure that we've not got anything there. Now, Legionella is mentioned in the WHO guidelines. Nothing, none can be in your system at all. Um, and that is something that, you know, why we've done this. We want to make sure that you're getting the best kit, something you can test on board. You're not having to rely on regular lab tests, but you can still get your accurate results. So for that, this is our Legionella Max test. 
If you'd like a bit more information, if you'd like to add it to your current drink safe kit, please give me a call, give me an email, call my colleagues, call anyone, just get in touch with us. We'll be able to sort this for you. Uh, thanks very much. I hope this was useful um, and stay tuned for more, more great content from Martech Marine.